we got so we got one more dive and uh, it's gonna be our last dive it's gonna be our longest dive i'm hungry hey guys thank you for joining us today we're where are we Lock Low Men Quarry. Lock Low Men Quarry. And Miss Heather is getting certified to scuba dive. We've already been on two dives today. Have you enjoyed it? It's been really fun. Um, I'm still a little freaky. I don't know. I, I just, my mind plays games with me, just to be honest. But I'm doing good. I, I'm just what, like, what kind of mind games? Well, it's just this whole fact of breathing through my mouth. And, and then I have to keep equalizing because my ears keep like getting a lot of pressure. So I'm constantly trying to equalize. And right, right now when I'm talking, like I can hear something in the back in, in the inner ear. It's kind of weird. Well, somebody's just getting used to it. I've, I've been certified for many, many years. What, what year? 95. 90, 95, so what's it, uh, 22 years? Uh, but it's been probably eight or nine years since I've been in the water, and so sort of doing some refresher stuff for me. But uh, after today, she'll be certified, and I've already been certified. So we're looking forward to doing some dive trips I like in the to go near to Florida. future. Yeah, and you can see some people getting out of the water. This Lock Low Men is an old rock quarry that they have flooded, and everywhere you see those buoys. Is an underwater table or platform and you go down and you do training on those so what are some of the some of the tests you've had to do today one test i had to do was lift my mask and flood partially flood it and then clear it and that's just blowing it clear the second test i had to do was a uh, a regulator exchange where like I'm running out of air and I have to take my air out and get my instructors alternate air source and use it and then let go of that and then put mine back in and then another test was uh, fin spinning uh, moving in circles and then another one was uh, trimming out buoyancy and what was the coolest thing you've seen underwater today well, most definitely the shark. There was a shark. He'd eat a scuba diver. Uh, so Travis, I believe it's Travis. Travis Docker, yeah. Travis Docker, he was worried about sharks. Uh, he'd already eaten somebody. So. <laughs> and in case anybody wonders where Santa spends his summers, uh, he apparently uh, spends it at the bottom of uh, the quarry here because they got a Santa Claus down there. Interview Art about what a good student I am. <laughs> Is she a good student, Art? She was an incredibly good student. She did everything almost right. <laughs> I she's pretty good. But she's very confident underwater. Yeah. And that's the objective of diving. Yeah. Dive classes to be confident underwater. Yeah. And my art has been a very patient teacher with her. No, I'm saying that's very, good. Very knowledgeable. Very, <laughs> very knowledgeable and very patient. And we appreciate it very much. And I was hoping you wouldn't know that. <laughs> I want to kick it so hard, Art. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait till, wait till he certifies you before you go stealing his stuff. <laughs> Great job. Right. My hair's a fright. My hair's a fright. My hair's a fright.